guys felt like your life was just missing purpose? Like you just don't have any drive or goals. Frankly, you're lonely and you need something to warm yourself up at night. The word I'm talking about starts with the letter D. Clearly, the word I'm talking about is D R E A B. Flip the E and the beards. That's what I'm talking about. Why am I talking about beards? I'm so glad you asked. I'm so glad that's the end of No Shave November, which I participated in. Let me tell you, I can grow a uh, feisty mane, majestic lion, like Simba was jealous of what I grew. No Shave November, I had quite some, I had quite a, let's just take a look. So as you can see, there's just so much hair, completely unrecognizable. You know, I grew the whole thing, and you can just see I have at least several thousand, give or take several thousand hairs just on my chin, you know? There's just dense rainforest. Why don't we just go to the after photo after I shaped? Uh, you just can't really tell the, so here's the after photo, and I just look like a completely different... Who is that guy? That's just a different person entirely. There's just no hair, absolutely no hair whatsoever. Clean as a baby's bottom. So you can see from that empirical evidence that I can, in fact, not grow a beard. But can you really blame me? Asians with beards are kind of rare, right? That's like seeing a shooting star or being handed a $2 bill. Or, you know, it's like finding, um, a leprechaun? Those don't exist! But I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Even if you met a leprechaun, I'm pretty sure he'd be more impressed with seeing an Asian with a beard than you were with finding him. Oh, you kids will never have my lucky charm! Hold on, kids. Is, is that an Asian? Is, is that an Asian with a beard? I gotta get a picture of this. Wait until Santa Claus gets a load of this, you know what I'm saying? Well, I think you get my point. But I never really answered the question. Why am I talking about beards? It's because beards can really just show how manly you are without having to say anything. Else. Let's take a look at some examples of celebrities. Remember this guy? Napoleon Dynamite's brother. You know, he seems like he's missing something. Boom! Manliness. That's what he was missing. Who's this unimportant person? He's just the guy that stopped slavery. No big deal. Or how about this guy? What happens if you gave him a beard? Chuck Norris. All right, so maybe I'm going a little far with this. Beards aren't all that great. I mean, think about when they go against you. Just consider this scenario in a public park with families around. What if you're an old white guy with a beard and you look kind of nasty? Oh my God, it's a pedophile. <laughs> Consider that same scenario, but this time you're Asian and you're fat and nasty looking. Oh my god, it's a pedophile! And he probably watches animated pornography! <laughs> Alright, but what if you were like a young white guy? You know, that wouldn't be so bad, right? You're kind of cleanly dressed, but you got a beard and you're wearing plaid or something like that. Oh my god, it's either a lumberjack or a hipster! And I don't like either of those. <laughs> What if you're old and you're Asian, but you're skinny and you're wise looking you had a beard? Oh my god, is that Confucius? But what about, what, what if you were a old black guy with a beard, huh? Hey, I think I saw this guy at the House of Blues. He plays a mean jazz flute. I guess in the end, I shouldn't be insecure about something silly as beards. And uh, I wish I could say more about the topic, but uh, I think I've already said enough. Anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll have more videos next time.